History being made at the new Rockingham Oval as the Works Megals lock out the front row of the grid. Alan van der Merwe on pole by 43 one thousandths of a second from his teammate Ronnie Bramer. Another Megal, different team, Ryan Sharp in third place on the grid and in fact seven Megals in the top nine. Just Robert Dahlgren and Jan Halen in their Van Diemen's representing the Norfolk mark. And look at the drivers on the left hand side of the picture all pointing downhill looking for a good sharp start and the Works Megal teammates battling together as everybody else heads to the downhill side trying to take advantage of the shorter run through to the hairpin off the banking. They don't use the little infield chicane on the first lap but Ryan Sharp from third on the grid comes into the lead. Oh and big lockups from behind that's the Works Van Diemen driver. That is car number one the championship leader Richard Goranson who started in tenth and he spins as well. Goranson, what a nightmare. Only 10th on the grid, trying to make up all of those places in the first corner is always going to be a big mistake. Ronnie Bramer and the yellow, red and green helmet of Alan van der Merwe side by side. Van der Merwe gets back in front. Jan Halen now in third place. Robert Dahlgren in fourth. So those two Van Diemen's getting ahead of some of the Megal drivers. And the rest of the field streaming through. Right towards the back will have been the number one machine of Richard Goranson, the championship leader. So Alan van der Merwe battling Ronnie Bramer. Bramer down the inside. It's a little bit greasy off the racing line, but plenty of grip now for the slick racing tyres. Car number three there. That's the works car of Robin Rudholm. For the best of the works, Van Diemen's Patrick Long in seventh place now. Just two spots ahead of Rudholm. So the works Van Diemen's really struggling here. Ronnie Bremer leads Alan van der Merwe under pressure from Jan Halen, the Belgian trying to go down the inside. That's the white car with the blue stripes. He's shown plenty of speed this season. Hasn't been that fortunate in terms of results. And there, right at the back, right at the back, two from the end, is Richard Goranson, which leaves him about 30th place. Ronnie Bremer way ahead over the line. Alan van der Merwe with Jan Halen diving down the inside. Will he take him into the chicane? Yes, Halen gets second, third for uh, van der Merwe, fourth for Robert Dahlgren. Oh, and confusion all over the place as the dust rises. Lots of late braking. What a fantastic circuit for Formula Ford drivers this is. That big wide open banking down into the infield chicane, then the big wide open stretch up to the hairpin fantastic allows plenty of different racing lines car 10 there Robert Bell another of the Miguel drivers he's well upside inside the uh, top half dozen and there he is in fact it's not it's uh, his teammate Wesley Barber number nine who's in sixth place right ahead of the number two car of Patrick Long and there is uh, Robin Rudholm who started 15th on the grid this is uh, possibly the worst weekend I can remember for all of the works Van Diemen drivers. Now then, Alan van der Merwe under pressure. This is Robert Dahlgren, 22. He's already slid past Jan Halen, gets inside the South African but loses the place back. So these independently run Van Diemen chassis, still made by the same manufacturer, just not the works team. Dahlgren drives for Aztec International and Halen for Tim Sugden Motorsport. Well, he works Miguel, still first and second. Ronnie Bramer from Alan van der Merwe. This battle goes on for third. And Halen loses it again to Dahlgren. Right behind them, they've got Ryan Sharp. He's in the Daglo red, white and blue car. Halen with the yellow helmet there. Plenty of pace on the banking, hasn't he? Gets back in front of Dahlgren. Got good drive out of the last corner onto turn four. Daglo orange nose of Luke Hines behind them. Then the red car is uh, the number nine machine Wesley Barber and Hines has a good run out of the infield chicane now he can't make a move there can he come down the inside always oh, trying he's got Dahlgren Dahlgren sees him coming oh how did he miss Jan Halen there on the outside Patrick Long as they were momentarily four abreast there and through went Wesley Barber number nine there is Hines there is Dahlgren and Dahlgren has now got, yeah, Robert Bell, the number 10 machine. There he is, pushing him along. Well, let's have a look back. Look at the top of the picture there. This is the first corner. And that was the championship leader, Richard Goranson, going very wide and then spinning as he tried to rejoin. Well, he tried to make up far too many positions away from the grid. 
And paid the penalty, didn't he? Oh, there's Edward Peed in trouble. Well, he's clearly out of action. Let's see what happens here. Inside Barry Syme makes contact under braking. And that breaks his suspension as the wheels tangle. So Peed out of the race. Action continues here. Luke Hines under pressure from Robin Rudholm in the works Van Diemen, the yellow-nosed car. And he takes the spot away. Chasing teammate Patrick Long back up the order. There is Long, the first of the yellow-nosed cars. And Luke Hines needs to uh, concentrate and get back into contention now. And in the pits, his teammate Ryan Sharp started third, but looks like he is out of the race. So too is Danica Patrick, it seems, the American woman in her works, Miguel. Well, her teammate's still leading. Ronnie Bremer and Alan van der Merwe. Van der Merwe in front at the moment. Bremer second, under pressure from Jan Halen, the white and blue car. Then in fourth place, still Robert Dahlgren. And Halen looking underneath as he goes past on the banking. He really did have a great run out of that last corner up onto the banking. And then through turn four of the Rockingham Oval, he comes. High speed stuff, this. This must be one of the longest, fastest straights, particularly on lap one when they avoid this infield chicane section and go all the way around the outside. That would be fun, wouldn't it, every lap? But uh, to try and control the speed coming up to this point, that's what the infield chicane is for. Then nine and ten behind Dahlgren. That is uh, Wesley Barber and Robert Bell. So four works Megals in the top half dozen. That's pretty impressive showing, really, isn't it? And there is one of the two cars that's uh, interrupting that battle. Robert Dahlgren. Ronnie Bramer just ahead of him. And there, Wesley Barber, nine. Robert Bell, ten. And the Dane makes a mistake. Ronnie Bramer loses third place. And in fact, goes down to six. Looks as though Patrick Long is trying to take that off him as well, and does so. So Alan van der Merwe leading from Jan Halen, who was fifth on the grid, don't forget, and just got a great start. And here they are. Jan Halen really has a fantastic setup out of that final corner every time. He is very quick onto the banking. Well, if you're going to set your car up for anything, set it up for the fast bits on the banking, because that's where you can do easy passing. Third place, Dahlgren. Fourth and fifth, Wesley Barber and Robert Bell. But look at this, Jan Halen in the lead. Alan van der Merwe in second. Well, the Miguel team will be very disappointed if they don't get a win out of this. A front row lockout for them. Jan Halen really seems to have set up his car quite superbly. And it's Halen who leads. Van der Merwe in second. Oh, and another mistake by the championship leader. Richard Goranson trying to come back up the order. There's his teammates Patrick Long, and then Robert Bell in front of Robin Rudholm. And they're still ahead of Luke Hines. Leaders through the infield chicane for the final time. Everybody getting a little more ragged. Oh, <laughs> Robert Bell really flying, and oh no! Van der Merwe overcooks it, loses second place, under pressure, under breaking to Dahlgren. Rejoins ahead of Wesley Barber in fourth place. Van der Merwe third. But after the Miguel domination of qualifying, it's Van Diemen's first and second. Jan Halen leading Robert Dahlgren. Alan van der Merwe third, Wesley Barber in fourth place. But Jan Halen out of the last corner for the final time. We'll see the chequered flag on the starter's gantry. Robert Dahlgren running him close, but not close enough. It's a maiden victory in Great Britain for Jan Halen. And Tim Sunderland Motorsport team are absolutely delighted. And Halen, the winner, receives congratulations from his dad. So, Jan Halen winning then his first win in the championship. There is the way they look in the top six. And in the championship, this is how they stand, but there's still eight races left to go.